Hey fellow leather people, it's Jim back with another review. It's been a while since I've done a review so I wanted to um, do this bag. It's a new creation by Satchel and Page out of Austin, Texas. It's called their Slim Mail Bag. They have a regular version of the mail bag that's a little bit bigger, um, a little wider and a little bit thicker or um, from front to back. The Slim Mail Bag is about 14 and a half inches wide it's about 11 inches tall and about 3 inches thick. Um, it can expand a little bit due to this um, fold that they have in the front panel here. It's made from vegetable tanned leather that is very, very firm. It's um, about 8 ounce leather, so it's firm, it's kind of stiff, it's not like chrome tanned or oil tanned leather. Vegetable tanned leather is very firm when it's freshly tanned and it takes a little while to kind of break it in and soften up the leather. Um, so anyway, this is a traditional kind of mailbag style. Uh, I've got it kind of loaded right now so I can show you what the capacities are. Um, first of all, it does have a grab handle in the back and we've got the uh, typical mailbag uh, straps here. These ones are adjustable with a buckle. Uh, there is a spine behind this piece here and it is very rigid. There is no give at all in this bag and I've got it loaded down so that the, the um, spine is very rigid and that's what you want. You want a nice rigid spine in a mail bag. There is a back magazine pocket here. You can throw your cell phone in there or the mail or a magazine or newspaper on the go. It's very thick um, really nice, um, nice texture on the leather. So um, it's got a, um, of course, a carry strap. Uh, unlike regular mail bags, which would have the attachment points right here for the strap, these ones are on the side. Um, and I don't have any problem with that. Some people might. When the attachment points are back here on a mail bag, when it hangs from your shoulder, the um, center of gravity is closer to your body, so there's less tendency for this to uh, kind of slide off your shoulder. When they're out here on the ends, um, you just have to be a little more careful when you're carrying it. If you bend over to unlock the car door or something, it might slide a little bit. Um, they used copper, um, hand-peened copper rivets in the construction of the bag um, on the side here as well. That's important. That's traditional in a mail bag. You probably want to see that. You don't want stainless steel or pot metal or something else that um, some makers are using now. Uh, I always carry my keys here on the side. That's just kind of a thing I like to do. There is on a mail bag. There's always a, a strap, usually, and a place to do that. So let's open it up and see what the capacity is. It's one buckle. It's not a roller buckle, it's just a regular kind of buckle. This little pin here is a little stiff because the leather's brand new. I usually like it when this little pin is really sloppy so that as soon as you unbuckle it, it falls down and you can pull the strap out. Again, really thick leather. There is a double piece of leather right here that's sewn together. Um, I'm not really sure why. Maybe it gives the bag a little more stability. But inside, let me take the keys off here so it's a little quieter. You've got a pocket for a small laptop or what I have in here is an iPad secured with a, a stud right there. So there's your iPad holder. You could put a really small, maybe a 13 inch MacBook in there. Um, nothing much bigger than that. Uh, there's an organizational pocket or panel on here. There's a pocket here that is supposed to hold a cell phone. It's not going to hold an iPhone 6. Um, it's just not wide enough for that. I've got some business cards in there. Um, there's a place for three pens right here. And they can't be really thick pens. In other words, they wouldn't be... Um, Oh, I like a Keras Custom Pen or a Hinderer, um, one of their bigger pens. Um, there is, um, there, I've got a small Hinderer here. That's about this, the 
thickness of the pen that it's going to hold. Um, there's some roach ring pins in there. There are pockets on the side, so a place for a flashlight. There is a um, key clip in here. I don't know how, really how, any, if anybody would ever use that or not. Pocket on the side here, so we've got a Leatherman tool in there. Uh, let's see, we've got a wallet. There's room. Put your wallet in there. I've got a day timer, um, room for that. There's a field notes, um, so we've got room for, in there for that. Eyeglasses, sunglasses, case, plenty of room. Extra business cards. Um, the bit set for the Leatherman. And so there's basically the inside. Um, it's very sturdy, very thick leather. The seams are, um, are hidden, so they've sewn it together and then they put a piece of leather to kind of finish that off and sewn that together. Um, so it looks very finished on the inside. There's a place here for business cards or credit cards. I don't know how handy or convenient that would be. Probably not very, but there is a, a slot for it. Um, so, there's the bag. It weighs about three pounds. This one feels a little heavier than that, but it's supposed to be three pounds. It smells great. It smells like a veg tanned leather bag. Um, it's got a nice shoulder pad on it. Really nice bridal leather uh, shoulder strap. Um, and not really a kind of a suede side in it. It's all kind of like a, kind of like a bridal leather, although I don't technically think that's what it is. But nice bag. Um, this was a Kickstarter, but they're available now in their store, satchelandpage.com, um, out of Austin, Texas. This particular bag, I believe, is made in Italy, though. That's where their leather is tanned. Really nice bag. Uh, under $400, so um, it's going to last you a lifetime. Great bag. Uh, if you don't have a whole lot to carry, if you've got more, then uh, you might want to go up to the, the larger full-size mail bag. So that's it for now, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.